Iris Birtwistle, one of the great English eccentrics. Where she found me, I can't remember. I must have had a show somewhere, or a joint show, perhaps in the a rotunda at Norwich or something in Ipswich. And she... Um, oh, I think I remember. I think she found me at the Bewers exhibition. I may have got that wrong because of the dates. And... Uh, she had a house in Ipswich, which she called pompously uh, the Viditorium, um, which is up the hill near the uh, the main park. I think it's uh, the, the Mansion Mansion Park or something. Right, Christ it Church is Park. Christ Church Park in Ipswich, and uh, she invited me to um, put some work in her place, and uh, then moved to having a, a, a complete show there, which I exhibited, I don't know how many paintings, 20, 30. And the sort of thing she would do was um, people who came to the house to, to view anything, they'd obviously knock on the door, as it's a normal house, and she'd open the door and ask them where their checkbooks were. <laughs> and not many people left without buying something. <laughs> she was incredible in that sense. And... Uh, in, the, in my, those paintings of that time, she had great faith in me. Although we lost touch, she moved to Norfolk uh, ten years later. We'd lost touch, and my direction had completely gone in... Uh, direction of work had gone in a totally different direction, and she didn't like it and uh, criticised me for it and slowly lost touch. But she lived well into her 90s, and the last time I saw her, she was 90-something on television, nearly blind, and still choosing paintings to sell. <laughs> and she, with, with the idea that she, she could feel what a painting was, and if, it, if she felt it was right, she, she would um, show it. Um, I, I still don't know what happened to her. Uh, I, if anybody knows, I'd be quite interested. She was good at selling. She sold, I don't know how many of my works, 20, it may be more. Um, and uh, it was it was a, a happy time in terms of sales. Perhaps the only time I've sold regularly where somebody's had faith in to push the work. Svenska Mansion. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember that one, a Swedish slot or, or house. Um, this was a painting about uh, 60 by 60 or no 70 by 50 and it was two halves so the house was upside down it was, it was a reflection in the water and on the landscape there was no house so there's landscape no house and the reflection of the house and landscape in the water uh, is there anything else I can remember so I think these th th this little series here, most of them would be um, sort of floating hills, uh, the shadows of hills uh, floating into each other, looking from a distance. And the Swedish rose, I can't remember. I think I started doing some leaf paintings, um, making patterns with leaves, which is strange looking back because I did the same thing 50 years later, girl from the North Country, floating leaves, again, yes, so the leaf, there was a series of leaves paintings, uh, and which made patterns rather than, uh, still, these were not still lives, they were, they were patterns. <laughs> 